Okay, so again, well, it is my great honor to participate in this event. Um, so today I would like to share with you the Thailand's priority agenda on bio-circular green economy or BCG model. Um, I'm not sure, like, okay, that's better. Thank you. Um, so it is uh, Thailand's priority agenda uh, now since um, 2020. And um, this has been declared by the government, by the Thai government as a national agenda. So uh, it is the way forward for Thailand on the resilient and sustainable development. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that I will want to mention briefly uh, about that and also about the circular economy in Thailand because it is very relevant to this forum. And also, of course, I want to uh, touch upon the development of BCG in terms of regional collaboration. Thank you. Uh, so next, please. So BCG model comprises of three components. That is bioeconomy, circular economy, and green economy, as shown here. Um, so the bioeconomy will involve the production of renewable bioresources and their conversion into high-value products. The circular economy will aim at renewing usage and perpetuating the usefulness of resources. And the green economy um, actually will keep the economic growth, societal and environmental well-being in balance, leading to sustainable development. So each component, of course, is not new and has been applied in many countries as one of the uh, sustainable development approaches. So Thailand combines all three aspects to make sure that our economy will rely on the national strength, uh, which are biodiversity and cultural diversity, while using science, technology, and innovation to raise national competitiveness, strengthen communities, and restore and protect environment. So the BCG economy model pays particular focus on four important sectors in Thailand, and that are food and agriculture, medical and wellness, energy, material, and biochemicals, and tourism and e uh, creative economies. Um, next, please. So BCG in, is in line with Thailand's 20-year uh, national strategy, and it certainly enables sustainable development goals, or UN SDGs, to the promotion of sustainable agriculture, uh, clean energy, and responsible consumption and production. Next. So the principle of BCG is to create value from biodiversity, bioresources, and waste. So by using SCI or science, technology, and innovation, higher value of products can be created, as shown in these examples. And in, in addition, down there, you can see that BCG also implement circular economy principle that is reuse, refurbish, sharing, recycle, and upcycle, and also maximize life cycle usage, and importantly, emphasize on zero waste policy. Next, please. So here, the five-year BCG action plan sets a vision to create sustainable and quality growth with science, technology, and innovation. The action plan is based on the four strategy, Firstly, to promote sustainability of biological resources. Secondly, to strengthen communities and grassroots economy. Thirdly, uh, to build resilience to global changes. And lastly, to enhance sustainable competitiveness of Thai BCG industry. Next, please. So as the BCG, Economy model involves all sectors in society, including public, private, academic, and research, community, and international alliance. A structure and mechanism of BCG economy have to be set in place for administrative as well as monitoring and evaluation. So uh, shown here, you can see that three levels of committees have been set up to oversee the BCG implementation in Thailand. And this consists of the BCG policy board, which is chaired by our prime minister. And then the BCG implementation committee chaired by the minister of 
Ministry of Higher Education, Science Research and Innovation or MESI. That is why you hear very often that BCG have to be supported by STI. And of course, 11 BCG subcommittees for each specific sectors as shown in the slide. So National Science and Technology Development Agency or NASTA, the, 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 the organization that I affiliated with, has been assigned to be the secretariat of the first two committees and also secretaries of all subcommittees to ensure the seamless operation among all sectors. Next, please. So we expect that the BCG model will make significant impact in four aspects, namely um, sustainability of resources and the environment by reducing natural resource consumption and greenhouse gas emission. Socioeconomic prosperity by improving income inequality, health and quality of life, and energy security. Sustainable economic growth by raising economic value of the BCG industry with high value goods and services and more income to the grassroots. And self-reliance by enhancing skills of our workforce, creating more startup and innovation-driven enterprises, and improving technological self-reliance. Next, please. So as the meeting is quite relevant to CEs or circular economy, and uh, as the CE is also one of the component of the BCG economy, I would like to briefly mention the current progress on circular economy in Thailand. So like many countries in the world, Thailand is also facing, on one hand, increasing amount of waste and improper waste management, and on the other hand, opportunity for new businesses so called from waste to wealth. And it is also responding to several targets to, of, of SDGs. So that's why uh, Thailand is also heading towards circular economy approaches. Um, next, please. So in general, all BCG action, circular economy included, have driven by the four sectors. A business, government, academy, and community, so-called quadruple helix model. And this is also the reflection of how the several uh, BCG committees I mentioned earlier are structured. And in particular of the circular economy in Thailand, government allocated some budget to be managed by the Thai funding agency or called PMUC, uh, Program Management Unit C for competitiveness to support the CE research project. And in addition, as shown in the slide, uh, business and industries working closely with several government agencies to promote CE business, also like economy business, <clears throat> including knowledge sharing and investment incentive from the Board of Investment or BOI of Thailand uh, to cir circular economy-based companies who invested in Thailand. Next, please. So now back to the larger picture, which is BCG. In terms of international collaboration, Biocircular Green Economy or BCG has been one of the great agenda for international activities. And when we look at ASEAN member states, as shown here, as ASEAN member states already embrace the green and sustainable concepts in their national plans and framework. For example, here, Singapore Green Plan 2030, Malaysia, National Green Technology Policy, and of course, Philippines National Climate Change Actions, and so on. So next, please. Um, in addition, when we look at the ongoing activity and initiative in ASEAN related to BCG, there are several networks and centers that also work complementarily with the BCG concepts and the more uh, recent established center and activities are, for example, um, uh, below in the two, two below, ASEAN Center for Sustainable Development Study and their dialogue, ACSDSG, and ASEAN Circular Economy Stakeholder Platform under the EU ASEAN Dialogue Instrument or eReady. Next, please. So, therefore, we may say that despite being the national agenda, the BCG model shares similar vision to the SDG policy in many countries and regions. For example, the EU Green Deal, Japan Green Growth Strategy, and the US Carbon Neutrality Pledge. Therefore, Thailand is actually looking at establishing international collaboration based on the BCG agenda to underpin the global sustainability. 
As you may also aware that the host of APEC 2022 or Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation is a Thai um, is actually Thailand. And as um, the host of APEC, Thai government is also introducing the BCG model as a tool to address three priority areas for APEC 2022, which are firstly inclusive and sustainable growth, secondly, trade and investment facilitation to achieve long-term growth and wealth, and thirdly, a restoration of mobility and tourism to recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. And also in the, uh, not yet, sorry. So, and in the ASEAN region, the ASEAN BCG network has recently been set up under the framework of the ASEAN Committee on Science, Technology and Innovation or ASEAN COSTI. Next, please. So the network will be the one of the active platform for exchanging knowledge and experience on the BCG and SDG and enable the capacity building and technology diffusion via workshop and showcases as well as joint research and chair facility. Next, please. So to further the activity, uh, we will focus on introducing the BCG concept and set up the platform where we could share and exchange our knowledge and experience to achieve sustainable development goals. The ASEAN BCG platform includes website, uh, meeting, and various project activities and events. So the network will also focus on the capacity building and technology sharing via workshop and showcases. The joint research project and chair facility could also be enabled through this network. Uh, so we expect that the ASEAN BCG network will benefit not only just researchers and innovators, but also to the policy uh, makers and also business sectors. Next, please. So since the ASEAN BCG network has uh, was endorsed in the ASEAN COSTI or ASEAN Committee on Science, Technology and Innovation, um, several activity has been conducted as shown here. Uh, including the BCG Knowledge Sharing Forum, the official launch ceremony of ASEAN BCG Network, and webinar with other ASEAN Center who has the complementary uh, agenda, for example, seminar with ACSDSD that I mentioned earlier on the BCG Knowledge Sharing. Next, please. Here are also upcoming activity on site in Bangkok, Thailand. There are uh, they are uh, first official BCG meeting um, and also BCG day with pitching on BCG uh, showcases and also BCG uh, ASEAN BCG research development program, which we plan to invite the member of ASEAN, uh, ASEAN BCG network to participate in the program. So if you're interested to learn more about this upcoming activity or about ASEAN BCG network, please contact us for more detail at the, you know, using this QR code here, or you can email us at the ASEANBCG at nasda.or.th. Next, please. So finally, I would like to emphasize that we are facing several global challenges. So we need global collaboration to resolve them and to create more and more positive impact. So please, um, you know, again, if you're interested to, you know, join us, please, uh, we are, you are very much welcome. And I would be happy to discuss with you later in the you know, Q&A session. Thank you very much.